Hey there, I'm Benjamin from Loves Data. In this video, I'll show you how to set up GA4 Google Analytics 4 using Google Tag Manager. We'll walk through the most important steps so you can start collecting reliable data and you can easily add more analytics and marketing tags in the future. And by the end of this video, you'll have GA4 connected to your website, a Google Tag set up in Google Tag Manager, and you'll know how to test everything before you publish. Before we jump in, there are just three things you'll need. You will need a Google Analytics property, a Google Tag Manager container, and access to add code to your website. The first thing you need to do is get your GA4 measurement ID. So let's head to Google Analytics. If you haven't created a Google Analytics account and property yet, you can head to analytics.google.com and follow the steps to get started. And if you'd like to walk through these steps, you can find a link to my dedicated tutorial in the description below this video. Okay, now let's navigate to admin. And let's select data collection and modification and choose data streams. In my property, we can see there is a single data stream. And in most cases, you should have one data stream in your property too. Let's select this. Now we need to copy the measurement ID. It starts with a G dash. We will need this in a moment, so let's copy this. And here's a quick tip. If you don't have a web data stream yet, you can select add stream, choose web, then follow the steps to create the data stream. Now let's head to Google Tag Manager. I've already opened my container, but if you don't have one yet, you can head to tagmanager.google.com and follow the steps to create an account and container. If you would like to walk through these steps, you can find a link to my dedicated tutorial in the description. Okay, since I'm looking at my Google Tag Manager container, we can see the container ID at the top. This starts with a GTM and a dash. Let's click this. We can now see two pieces of code. The first is the most important. This is the JavaScript container code and it should be installed on every page of your website. And ideally, it's the first thing in your head tag. The second piece of code isn't really important. It's the NoScript version of the container. You can add this after the opening body tag on all of the pages of your website. However, it's rarely used and it doesn't automatically improve the accuracy of your tracking. If you'd like to learn more about the NoScript version of the container, I've included a link in the extra resources below this video. Depending on the platform you're using for your website, there are different ways you can add the container code. There might be a built-in integration, a plugin, or an option to add the code to every page. If you're using WordPress, Shopify, Wix, or Squarespace, you can find links to my dedicated tutorials in the description. And here's a tip. Don't install the Google Tag for GA4 directly on your website and with Google Tag Manager at the same time. This can cause tracking issues. Okay, let's close this. And now it's time to add GA4 to Google Tag Manager. To do this, let's select add a new tag. Let's name the tag Google Tag GA4 Page View. Now let's select Tag Configuration. And let's select Google Analytics and choose Google Tag. Now you can paste the measurement ID we copied from Google Analytics under Tag ID. But instead of doing this, let's create a variable so we can easily reuse the ID in multiple tags. To do this, let's start by entering two curly braces. And let's select new variable from the dropdown. Let's name the variable GA4 measurement ID. And let's select variable configuration. Now let's choose constant as the type. And now let's paste our measurement ID. Okay, now let's save the variable. 
Creating a variable does add a few steps, but this means we can reuse the variable whenever we need in Google Tag Manager. Next, we can check the trigger used for our tag. Triggers in Google Tag Manager control when tags fire, and we can see the initialization all pages trigger has been automatically added to the tag. This trigger will load our tag early, which can improve accuracy. Now let's save our tag. We could now publish our tag to our website, but before we do, let's test it. To do this, let's click Preview. Tag Assistant opens. Now we can enter the URL of our website. This is where you have installed the Google Tag Manager container code. Now let's click Connect. And our website loads. Now let's open the Tag Assistant tab. And we can see our GA4 tag has fired. If your tag didn't fire when testing it, you should double check that the Google Tag Manager container is installed on all of the pages of your website. Now let's check that everything is working in Google Analytics. Let's head to Google Analytics. We're still in the admin area, so let's close our data stream. And now let's select Data Display and choose Debug View. Since we were previewing our tags in Google Tag Manager using Tag Assistant, our events will show up in the Debug View. So we can see events are coming through to Google Analytics. Since everything looks good, let's head back to Google Tag Manager. The final step is to publish our changes to our live website. To do this, we click Submit. We can name our version. Let's name this version Added Google Tag for GA4. And let's click Publish. That's it. We've now set up GA4 on our website using Google Tag Manager. Since you're now using Google Tag Manager, you can easily track custom events in the future. You can even add other tags like Google Ads tags and more. To learn even more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, please take a moment to check out my courses and extra resources in the description. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel for all of my latest tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.